Welcome back. So in this video, we will just transform the latitude and longitude to address, and also we will do the reverse, address to latitude and longitude. So let's go ahead and start working on that. First, we will close that Dart file, my home screen, and we will come towards right lib, create a new directory, and we will give the name as transform. Flat and longitude to address so right in this directory create a new dot file gonna give the name as transform instead of space give the underscore then we say latitude and longitude that is fine now in this dot file we will have a start for widget so write st in here and now I'm gonna give the name as transform let longitude address remove that const key we don't need this and click on the start for widget import the library material load dart that is fine for now on right in this dart file there is just an empty container so we have to go and just refresh the app So there is that Google map again. First we will go and just copy that name now. Copy it and go towards the man dot dot. You guys can see that Google map because right in here in the home we didn't remove that. So we have just to remove that and paste the other one. Now click upon that and import the library. All just fine. now we have to go towards the transform latitude and longitude in here now as i told you already there is just an empty container right in this transform latitude longitude to address now just want to load the app and there will be an empty screen there we go as you guys can see now because there is just an empty container now we will do some decoration for this specific screen so let us go ahead and decorate that to make it more attractive so in here we'll say decoration and then we'll have the box decoration in here right in then we'll have gradient and now we'll say linear gradient in here now we will choose the colors so let us go ahead and do that colors the first one that we will choose is going to be orange and the other one that we will choose is going to be teal so there will be kind of combination between these two color and we'll say just to add it began it alignment dot center left and the other color we will just end it alignment dot center right now we will just stamp that towards zero zero point zero and one point zero all just fine now we have to provide the tile mode tile mode gonna be with the clamp all this fine now we have to go just take the scaffold as a child in here we'll say scaffold widget in here now in there we'll provide the background color 
so we'll go with the color dot transparent in order to get that specific combination of true color right in here add the const modifier so the line will be gone then as you guys can see now just refresh the app you guys will notice the changes there we go okay there is an orange and teal color as you guys can see now we have to go and import some dependencies so we are about to just convert the latitude and longitude to address and also we will do the reverse so open the google and search for pub.dev so we are here as you guys can see search for this pub.dev so in here we will search for geocoding and we go that first one okay a flutter geocoding plugin which provide easy geocoding and reverse geocoding features open that and go towards the installing in here copy that dependencies okay copy it and go towards the android studio now in here just paste it as you guys can see geocoding now hit that pubget and we'll just import it it's fine now let's get this down close the pubspec.yaml first click on that get the dependencies now you can simply ignore it all just fine back to word that transform latitude and longitude dot dot in here now right in the body we will just create a text button simply whenever the user will click upon that specific button it will just convert the latitude and longitude to address below that in here we will say body and right in the body we will have a column widget as you guys can see now in here we will set some properties main axis alignment we will set this to center and also we will have another property cross axis alignment you will set this also to center all just fine now in here take the children and write in the children we will take the child now right in there we will have a gesture detector since it will have a on tap event so we have to just have that widget in here for hitting that specific button now get this down and in here we'll have on tap event here we are for now on we will just leave this empty first we will just complete the UI design now down in here we'll say child I'm gonna have padding widget in here padding and then as usual as insect in here dot all now we'll say 8.0 and take this down now we'll take the child and we'll have a container widget in here now in there we'll set the height to 60 and also we will do the decoration in here box decoration take this down now set the color for that specific text button we'll go with the red action they one and also we'll do something like in here say child gonna have the text so we'll have a center widget it's gonna be right in the center of the screen so we have to take that widget in here and child text widget in here now in here string and we'll say hit to convert all just fine now we will just remove those yellow line and box decoration and towards that now just simply press the control s and you guys will not notice the changes there we go as you guys can see hit to convert that's our button for now on right in the on tab even we didn't add anything 
so here we are we can just make this a little small more control s and that is more good so right in the second part right in the next video we will be working on that specific dot file transform latitude longitude to address so see you in the second part and that's it for now